today I'm going to try to turn my classic vanilla cheesecake into a peanut butter and jelly cheesecake. So let's get started. I'm trying something new here. Fingers crossed it works. I have these peanut butter cookies and I know it's this is like a baking channel and I'm using store-bought cookies. That feels illegal. Now these cookies are like soft. They're not crunchy like graham crackers are, which is what I usually use. So this could be a disaster. Let's beat them. No, not beat them. <laughs> I am exhausted. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> I broke it. Okay. It unlatched itself. No. <laughs> They're so heavy duty that they move the whole thing. All right, there you go. Okay, and look, so it is a nice, super fine crumb, and then there's bits of peanuts in it too. Now I have some melted butter, and I'm just going to pour this over top, and let's mix it in. So I am going to spoon in the buttered cookie crumbs. I added like a little bit more cookie than I normally do for cheesecake because I want to do something slightly different and this like might bite me in the behind but we're gonna see. And then I'm working in the center outwards and just pushing directly down as, and as you can see it's kind of like getting pushed up the sides and that's what I want. Like I want this to be very peanut butter. So it is nice and firm and pressed in. Now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge while we prepare the filling. And this is a really, really cool, I, I, I don't know. I've never done it before. We're winging it, but I think it'll be cool if it works out, so we'll see. <laughs> I have some raspberries that were frozen. I bought them frozen and then I thawed them. And the reason why we're doing this instead of using like fresh raspberries is because for some reason, I don't know, these will give you a more vibrant color and like they're softer and mushier. So we're gonna make them extra soft. So I'm going to pour it. Look at like how red and pretty that is. I'm going to pour them into that same food processor, but like I rinsed it. So there's no like crackers or whatever in it. I'm just going to blend them until they are smooth. Look at it. Like it's so bright and pretty. I have my vanilla cheesecake base here. I will link, I have like just a basic recipe for it. And so I'll link that down below. And I am going to add the raspberry filling to this and I hope it doesn't like curdle. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's hope. I mean like it looks yummy at the very least. Moment of truth. So I just tasted it. It's really good. It doesn't taste too much of like a berry flavor, but it tastes not vanilla, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of food coloring. For Instagram, like it needs to be a little bit more vibrant. Honestly, that is why. So I'm gonna use Wilton's Red. I'm not using pink because pink is like too pink for this. And this version of Wilton's Red, the red versus like the crimson, leans kind of pink. Like, I think this is better, right? It just adds like an extra, like a smidge of vibrancy. It's not gonna taste like food coloring, don't worry. Before I pour the filling into the pan, I wanna do one more thing. This will either work super well or it will ruin the entire integrity of the cake. So like, we'll, we'll just find out. If it sucks, I won't put it in the type of recipe below. But I'm getting some peanut butter and I am just, oh, I put it too high in the spatula, I can't. Okay. I am just going to spread it on to the crust directly. I guess this jar will just be the cheesecake jar because I'm just putting the spatula right back in. Um, but it will protect the crust from getting soggy from the cheesecake because I don't know how these cookies will react. I have added like things to cheesecake before and like it's just kind of created this weird like it doesn't just sit nicely with the cream cheese and it gets slippery and I just like ugh. I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for just 10 minutes because I want the peanut butter to set this is exciting okay it's like the best shot ever when it just like ripples in like look at that oh my god I want some extra space in here because we're gonna do something special. You guys watch the intro. You know what it is. You know what it is before I do. I got like, like should I not put that in the intro? But like, how do I entice you? I don't know. Keep out like a cup. 
and you can just eat that while you're waiting because honestly I accidentally just like carried this off into the living room to eat out of the bowl and I'm like you haven't even poured it in yet and I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about four hours I have some more of the frozen and thawed raspberries but I also have the juice that like comes with it that thaws when they melt as well oh my god look it's so dark and pretty Then I'm gonna add a half a cup, or no, sorry, a quarter cup of water to that. If there are holes in your blender, you will get hit. Okay, so now in a smaller bowl, I am going to pour some water, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some gelatin on top. And now I'm gonna take this and let it sit for five minutes and then microwave it, and that will make the gelatin liquid. Excuse me. Paddington palm. Paddington. Paddington, hey, what are you doing? And we are going to pour it directly into the raspberries. And now is the fun part. What you're gonna do is spoon this liquid on. You don't want to pour it because the like, I don't know, the like, physics, the velocity of it, I don't know. It's just, it could like poke a hole in the cheesecake and you want to be gentle, okay? I bake, I don't do anything like math or physics related. This is as far as I go with physics. I took it in high school for like half a year or like a third and it was awful. I was gonna put fresh raspberries on top, but I don't know if like, is, will that be ugly? I don't know. I'll try one and we can like vote, okay? In the comments, tell me, tell me if it's ugly or not. I think it's cute. Okay, maybe I'm gonna commit to it, but if you think it's ugly, you can tell me that's okay. It is midnight as I'm making this. My productivity like starts at 11 p.m. Let's pop it into the fridge. I'm gonna leave it in the fridge overnight because you know we have multiple things that we want to set. And I wanna make sure that this sets well and it's not like a waterfall. I will freaking cry. <sighs> Moment of truth, let's cut it and see. And that looks so professional. Oh my God. All right, let's taste it. Okay, it tastes exactly like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like exactly, like there is no difference. It is the same. So the peanut butter cookies definitely adds the peanut butter flavor, like duh. But the topping is so similar to jam. Definitely adding extra crust on the edge is kind of unnecessary because it doesn't really stick together and it's just like a lot of crust. So maybe don't do that. The vanilla base for the cheesecake, I'll link it here. What else should I try to turn into cheesecake? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.